Hello and welcome to Tensar Ground Coffee, a few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy while having your coffee. Well, we're continuing with the highly successful Ask Andrew season. We've had a, a lot of questions in this week. Uh, as you can see, we're out and about. So I've brought uh, a phone with me. It's got an app that's going to randomly select this week's winner. Uh, here we go. And right, it's, it's Sandy, Sandy Gravel. Well done. Uh, she wins this week. Her question is, uh, what is a landslide? Okay, a very good question. Um, quite a fundamental question in ground engineering about uh, landslides. As luck would have it, uh, we're standing here next to a landslide. So, um, Brian, if you just uh, pan up there a bit, you'll see how devastating a landslide can be. Unfortunately, this house uh, has been condemned because the whole front, uh, the whole rear of the house rather, has all descended downwards. That's the old uh, veranda there. That's come down and uh, the landslide continues off into the distance there. And we're actually standing on the road. And can you see down there, Brian, where the, the road is now? It's a good um, four to five meters below where it was before. So it's a very devastating uh, type of geohazard and clearly one that we want to avoid. So in order to avoid it, it's good to know uh, what causes a landslide. Well, a landslide fundamentally is caused by gravity. So it's the self weight of the material wanting to fall down. So if you had a horizontal ground surface, then there would be no uh, landslide. Uh, but of course, not all ground is horizontal. Now, if we start off with uh, water, static water, that can't support a slope. That always sits flat and horizontal. So soil can support a slope because of the internal friction between the soil particles. So it can actually support uh, a slope without uh, collapsing. And depending on the strength of the soil, that slope can get steeper and steeper. So a soft clay would be able to support a very shallow slope, sand and gravel getting steeper until you get all the way up to a rock and that can stand vertically. So you get these big high cliff faces and mountains composed of rock because they have all the strength to support themselves uh, vertically. So fundamentally a landslide occurs because the ground does not have enough strength in order to support its angle against gravity and it collapses. But slopes might stand uh, stable for years and then suddenly they will fail uh, at one moment. So why would that happen when a slope has been standing there happily uh, for, for many years? It then fails because of what we call a trigger mechanism. Now, a trigger mechanism, uh, that can take uh, three forms, and they are related to those fundamental um, causes of landslides. So one is uh, weight, uh, the other one is um, slope angle, and the other one is the strength of the ground. So weight, so... If uh, water entered a slope, that's adding a lot of weight to the material. Also, if you put a surcharge on the top, maybe if you put extra earth on the top, that's applying a lot more weight. That could cause uh, the slope to fail. Uh, regarding uh, the slope angle, okay, if you make it steeper, that could make it fail. So if you did some excavation work and took away some soil at the base, that is like making it steeper and that could make it collapse. And the other one is the strength. So if the strength of the ground uh, within the slope got less, then that also could make it collapse. So you can get weathering of a rock uh, in particular. That causes it to weaken over time. And then suddenly a piece of rock might fall away because of the weathering and erosion that slowly reduced the strength of that block of rock. But also water being added to, to soils, particularly clays, that can uh, weaken their, their strength as well. And the most common cause of a trigger mechanism is water because that adds all that weight to, uh, to the slope but doesn't have any shear strength. So it's adding weight but no additional strength. So water sources such as a, a burst water main, uh, broken drainage, rainfall, snow melt, all those things are very common uh, causes of a, a trigger of a landslide. Where do geogrids come in? Well, geogrids reinforce slopes. So if you wanted to build a slope for an embankment, for example, for a new highway, if the slopes are at their natural stable angle, that could be at least 45 degrees or, or less than 45 degrees, and it takes up a lot of space. If you could make those slopes much steeper, up to about 70 degrees, then you take up much less space with your earthworks. So if you ever see um, 
sort of extremely steep slopes with grass on them, and you think, how can they possibly stand up? That's probably because there's geogrid reinforcement inside, so that is a reinforced slope that can stand right up to 70 degrees. So there we go, an overview of what causes a landslide. Okay, uh, that's all for this episode of Tensile Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.